Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the beautiful island of Malta that you can see in the background. Uh, today I was shooting a new episode for you and I was using my trusty Leica M6 with a 28mm Summicron lens. And of course I need some film and the film I was shooting, uh, it's probably the most iconic black and white film ever. And that is this one here, it's Kodak Tri-X 400. And I pushed the, or this will be pushed to 1600. So I did this uh, to be able to stop down the lens to f11, f16. So I uh, have a really wide uh, depth of field. And yeah, so you will see the photos now. I will have to wait, uh, but I'm really curious about that. So I would say without further ado, Malta M6 Trix 400, let's go. Developing and scanning was kindly provided by Carmen Sita Film Lab. If you want to check them out, the link will be in the description box down below. In case you're wondering, I was using an external meter since I usually don't have a battery in my M6, but Sunny 16 would also work pretty well, since the lighting conditions weren't changing that much. The meter was set to 800 and I told the lab to push the film in developing by two stops. It was a beautiful day out and if you haven't been to Malta, I think it's absolutely worth a visit and I will definitely come back in the future. I haven't shot Trix a lot, but I have to say that I'm very pleased with the outcome. Since Malta is an island, I wanted to get out of the city and check out the seaside.
one one thousandths F16. Right, guys before i show you the prints a quick reminder if you haven't checked out one of my street photography zines uh, you can do so and the link is in the description box down below and this one x-pan and this one shots taken in cairo in egypt so the link will be in the description box down below and this is also a good way to support the channel all right guys here are the prints and i have to say um this episode turned out really well. I'm, I'm really happy with the results. Uh, Malta is a beautiful, beautiful place to shoot. There was not that much going on, but still I'm really happy with the uh, shots that I got when I shot this episode. And as always, you can win these prints. Um, the only thing you have to do, leave a comment below the video. And within the first 24 hours this video goes live, I will pick a random winner and I will send them to you worldwide for free. All right, here's the first one. And I like this one because, uh, I don't know, I mean, I'm not, not a fan of the mask she's wearing um, because you cannot see the whole face. But still, I really like uh, the contrast here in this image. I mean, it's a little bit reflective, the print, so it's not that easy to see. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. So the uh, Trix 400 pushed to 1600, man, it looks absolutely gorgeous, I have to say. Um, so that's why I picked this one. Okay, next shot is this one here. Um, and I picked this one because there's so much going on. There's the couple here, the dog, then there's also the shadow here. There's this kid here, the statue, somebody over here, someone there, someone over there. So there's a lot of going on in the frame. That's why I picked this. And also, I think also here, black and white looks absolutely gorgeous. Very beautiful. All right, next one. And it's this one here. So if you follow my channel, you know that I usually don't do many like silhouettes. Um, but this, in this case, um, the silhouette here turns out pretty well. I think it works very well because the water is fairly bright and because it's under the guy here is underexposed and uh, dressed in black. So I think this uh, works very, very well. Um, 
And I th as far as I remember, this was shot at 1 1,000th at f16. So that I stopped the lens all the way down, the uh, Summicron 28mm. So yeah, I think this one, really happy with uh, how this turned out. So nice. All right, next one. Also here, I think um, the lighting is absolutely gorgeous. Um, <laughs> it's really, she's dressed fairly nice and then she's uh, rocking this face shield. Um, yeah, kind of funny. But I think here um, the black and white, the Tri-X 400, pushed to 600, also works very well. Uh, so the background is fairly busy-ish, let's say. But because uh, it's pushed and it's fairly contrasty, so you cannot really see um, the background. And in this case, it's a very good thing. I think this shot, yeah, I like it. Next one. And... This is my favorite character uh, that I found uh, in Malta the time that I was there. <laughs> he looks so cool. Um, and I'm really happy that he's not paying attention to the camera and he's not looking at me. So I wish, though, that th the background was a little bit cleaner, but it's not too bad. So I'm quite happy with this one. And also the contrast in this shot looks absolutely amazing. So I'm really hap with, happy with this one. Okay, guys, so on to my favorite image of the episode. So this shot here, that's my favorite shot of the episode and it's very minimalistic like some other shots that I liked from uh, previous episodes that were minimalistic. Apparently these days I like minimalistic shots and that's one of them. Um, here you can see the beauty of the city in the background. It's Valletta, on, uh, it's the main city in uh, Malta and a very beautiful old town. And over here you can see the guy uh, taking a sunbath on the concrete. And a small detail that uh, I think uh, makes the image stand out even more, or makes it even stand out, I would say, it's the pigeon here. Uh, these things you cannot plan. I mean, um, I got really lucky that the pigeon was there, so I quickly uh, took the shot. And I think this works pretty well. And also the black and white in here looks absolutely beautiful. You can see some grain, but it's not too bad for a uh, push to 1600. Uh, I think it's very well controlled and yeah, it looks Lovely, so I'm really happy with this one. All right, guys, that's it uh, for today's episode. Um, like I said before, you can win these prints. Uh, just leave a comment below this video. And yeah, if you like the episode, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we will see each other very soon in the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.